Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody, and welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com. Uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Um, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for joining us, spending a couple of moments uh, with us. The only thing I ask every single night, I'm so petty, I ask so much. Uh, only thing I ask is take a second, like like the content if you like it. If you hate it, call me an AL and move on with your day, which is fine. Um, like the content, share, subscribe, all that. Uh, good stuff, and hopefully, again, I'll continue uh, to give you a lot of value on a day-to-day -day basis. So, uh, let's talk about the tape. Um, number one, a couple of interesting things happened today. Uh, number one, we had Fed minutes. We'll kind of reverse engineer this. Uh, you had Fed minutes, nothing really dynamic. Uh, it was pretty much on a hawkish side. Uh, now, it looks like you know, no rate hikes. Uh, for the in immediate future, not really anything crazy. Market went down, market went up. If you look at the final scoreboard, nothing really, you know, earth shattering here. You got um, you got the Dow down 200. The Dow's been on a massive run. Uh, the S and P down, you know, two tenths of a percent, and Nasdaq down 30 points, which was absolutely nothing. Uh, the crazy part about today, uh, you know, today was kind of like what Tesla did, right? And it really does show you how. This stock is just literally all over the place. Yesterday was phenomenal. Not a single, not a single downtick. Today I got stopped out of my runner. I actually sold my runner for a little bit of a loss, but there wasn't an uptick today. Okay, absolutely wasn't an uptick today either. Uh, just crazy. But the dynamics, right? From the dynamic part of Tesla uh, after yesterday's magnificent move, it actually put in an inside day. It held the five-day moving average, reclaimed back to sixty-five. Uh, that it reclaimed on yesterday's big move. And now it just needs kind of to go sideways. Yesterday when I recorded the video, I said, well, you know, we can get a couple of days worth of profit taking. That's great. I, I really didn't expect the stock literally to pretty much give up its whole move uh, during the day. But again, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I would like it for tomorrow. Um, I would like to see tomorrow that it puts in a higher low uh, off today's channel and ultimately towards the end of the week, get back above uh, yesterday's channel so we can start going into the 90s. But overall, again, it's, it's really, really hard to complain. Uh, I came in with 10% left from yesterday's move. Honestly, who cares uh, about that? Uh, other names continue to kind of uh, rest. Microsoft, really, really strong move yesterday, kind of an inside day from yesterday's channel. You have these Bitcoin stocks waking up all over the place. Uh, coin, you know, coin is very close, guys. Coin is very, very close. As you can see here, it's got rejected on the April channel and it got reject rejected on today's channel. You see that line, right? All you guys still think uh, lines are irrelevant. Well, it got rejected off the line and, went and got rejected for seven points. Lines matter. Lines matter. So uh, coin, I think, might be a day or two away. Next surge in Bitcoin uh, can get this, you know, could get the stock really, really going. You're getting a lot of call buying coming in on Mara. Again, double top today on Mara, but we saw weekly 23, 25 calls uh, coming in on Mara. Again, if there is another surge on Bitcoin, you'll probably get some move. Uh, you'll probably get some move from Coin coming out of a channel, Mara coming out of a channel. So that's very, very uh, important to watch. But let's get to the meat and potatoes, right? Let's forget about Apple and all that stuff. They're relaxing, they're blah, 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 blah. Let's get the meat and potatoes. So NVIDIA today uh, came out with earnings. Um, a lot of people kind of, if you're like me, all I did today, if you watched last night's video, uh, all I did today was, you know, bounce in the video. Like I said, last night's video, I wanted to bounce in the video off our channel. Very, very small bounce, a couple of bucks. And NVIDIA really didn't do anything the whole day. Um, Literally a couple of bucks. There's really nothing there. Um, but the point was, it was a scenario of, let's see, right? Is it going to be a, a Google scenario that good earnings and the stock is going to go? 
Or is it going to be a scenario of, well, meta, you know, good earnings and the stock is going to come out. Look at these numbers. Just look at these numbers. These numbers are eye-popping. Like they're just jumping off the page. NVIDIA reports Q1 revenue of $26 billion, okay? That is a 260% jump year over year, okay? Here's the second craziest part. NVIDIA's Q1 revenue is up now 1,100% over the last five years. How crazy is that? Talk about a great growth story. That is absolutely bananas. And the question was, well, what was going to happen next, right? So they talked about, you know, they talked about uh, increasing their divvy. And the big number that everybody wanted to see was they announced a 10 for 1 split uh, on June the 7th. I still haven't figured out if I like it or not, right? First of all, you know, here's the reaction for the stock. Uh, first, you saw, uh, first, you saw the initial move uh, down, right? Here he goes. Let me just refresh this. So initially, you saw the move down, and then they spiked it right back up as soon as they announced uh, the dividend increase and the 10 for 1 split. I don't know if I like the split yet. If they would have split the stock two for one, three for one, that would have been good because the stock would have been, you know, four hundred, three hundred dollars a share. The fact that the, now the stock is going to be around a hundred bucks, it could it could turn out to be two things. It could turn into Tesla, right? It could turn into Tesla, which will still have the combination of speed and power, or the worst part of it, it could turn into Amazon. It could turn into Google. If you guys remember how Amazon used to trade, used to be amazing, right? Used to be absolutely amazing. 100, 200 point moves. Now Amazon to get a dollar out of this damn thing is like, you know, moving the earth with your pinky. So I'm not, you know, I guess we'll see how the stock trades uh, in the near future after uh, their split date. But more important is the company continues to shine. Uh, like, like I said, uh, for the, for every video for pretty much leading up to earnings, it really wasn't a question. I think everybody uh, everybody really believed that the stock was going to continue to blow out earnings. It was just a question of how the stock uh, was going to react. Ironically, right? Here's the ironic part about it. We did see a lot of politicians and Stanley Drunkenmiller exit their positions, whether it's in full or partial so a lot of people are like, well, wait a minute, maybe you know, maybe they know something. You know, somebody always knows something. Well, they didn't know anything, right? They didn't know anything. Uh, Nvidia continues to shine up three and a half percent right now. Uh, after hours, right now it's about five o'clock Eastern time. By the time you watch this video, you know, in the next hour or so, could it be at a thousand? Could it be at nine thirty? Who the hell knows? But right now at five o'clock, uh, it is at nine eighty-seven. Stock traded all the way up to uh, nine ninety-eight. Uh, after hours and blowing past uh, through the all-time highs. For all you guys who traded it in the live webinar, the 974 level was very, very big. We had 974 to the upside, 880 to the downside, yada, yada, yada. We are at eight, uh, 988 right now. But the most important part is the reaction to see what the rest of the market's going to do. And let me give you guys, uh, let me give you guys some setups uh, for tomorrow. Uh, that can correlate with uh, uh, with can correlate with Nvidia. First one, let's talk about is AMD. So AMD, I've been talking about now for a couple of days, and the reason why I've been, I've been waiting for this thing for a couple of days, it's one of the very few setups that are not above the 50-day moving average. It keeps on trying to get back above the 50-day, and it keeps on coming back in, like it did today. If if Nvidia is ripping tomorrow. And obviously, I'll be playing the video tomorrow at some point uh, into into dips and blah, blah, blah. But the point is, I, I would love to get a good wave on AMD because if AMD can reclaim, and it was a double top today uh, from the 517 highs, but if AMD can get back above the 50-day moving average, there's a shot. We get a run all the way to 74. I mean, you, you know, we've kind of been demonstrating for a long time the importance of the 50-day. And so far, AMD has been rejected off that 50-day moving average a number of times. Is it tomorrow? It's day? We'll see. Coinbase, like we talked about a few minutes ago, same thing here, guys, right? You see how it got rejected off the 50-day here, got rejected off the 50-day here? Guys, let's watch Coinbase, whether it's today, tomorrow, whatever the case may be, but let's watch Coinbase. If they could get back above the 50-day moving average, 
And obviously, I think there'll be a contingency hand in hand with a scenario of Bitcoin. This thing could rock and roll. So this thing looks really, really good uh, as well. Mara, we talked about as well. Uh, double top today, just like Coinbase as well. Um, Microsoft, I like. Uh, Microsoft, I like. I like the way you put in an inside day today after taking out all-time highs yesterday. I want to watch this thing above yesterday's channel uh, for a potential move there as well. And I think that's all I'm going to share with you guys right about now. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. So other than that, guys, look, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today, literally, I just kind of just sat there, watched the market, took one dip on the video, a uh, cup of coffee, not here nor there. But like, again, in a weird way, and we talked about this briefly in the, in the webinar this morning, uh, in a weird way, after you have a really aggressive run like we had with Tesla yesterday, people are so euphoric, depending on your stage of your career, that they start trading so aggressively the next day. And if you run into a day like today that everybody was just basically waiting for uh, the FOMC minutes that turned out to be a non-event and um, and a, a big catalyst like NVIDIA, you can start giving away your money, not even losing money. You can start giving away your money. So I'm actually in a weird way, uh, pretty happy that today uh, worked out the way it did, at least for me. Like I didn't trade these things. We talked about uh, ENVX last night's video. Uh, ENVX, a nice pop from 1080 to 1140. It's not really my thing. Uh, this thing had a nice pop. What else did we? What else did we had yesterday? Yesterday, um, excuse me. What else did we had today? Uh, did, did, did EMVX uh, Goose never got up there. Uh, Goose never got up there. Yeah, basically, it was a very very slow day outside of a couple of bounces here and there. Other than that, we'll see. You know, let's see what happens with Nvidia tomorrow. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a lot of volatility when you're trading on a lot or really a lot of volatility type of scenario. Scale down the size. You have a lot of range tomorrow uh, if you are trading NVIDIA. And I, I will tell you this much. If you've never traded NVIDIA, don't start tomorrow, right? Don't start tomorrow. I, I, again, a lot of traders like to sprint before they could crawl. And you know, this is not the, the one to play with. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't believe in the theory you got to risk 30 points to make five, right? So if you are trading NVIDIA, you better know your levels. You better know your supply zones. You better know your demand zones or else... Stick with the other ones, right? You got a major, major level coming up here on AMD. Why make it the harder trade if you don't have to? Because if AMD does reclaim back the 50-day moving average, it could be very good. Other than that, guys, have a great night, everybody. Uh, tomorrow night is my normal uh, evening off, so there is no video. If you are planning to join us in the webinar tomorrow, I look forward to meeting you. I look forward to uh, working with you and opening up your mind to uh, the PS60 works, uh, to be PS60 theory. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.